Hi guys, welcome back again. Here's another little quick tip for you ladies out there, I guess, and a lot of guys too, but anyways, a lot of guys or girls don't realize that when you're, uh, if you accidentally cut something wrong or too long and you gotta take something apart, um, I just done this little mock up there to show you guys how quick it was to actually build the 12 by 12 frame. So now I'm just gonna take it apart because I am gonna stain it, uh, the frame or whatever. Um, anyways, so as I'm taking it apart now, I have these nails that are left in the wood. So a lot of people would just, you know, either hammer them back or, um, I don't know if a lot of you guys know or not, but you use a pair of pliers and you can pry them through. Um, in doing that, we, yes, it saves the outside of the frame. It doesn't like when you hammer the nail back, usually the wood will splinter off and it looks bad when you actually put the frame back together and stain it or paint it you have to try to sand down that gouge that's in the wood so what i usually do with a finished nail i'll usually pull the nail all the way through so then that way the outside of the frame stays nice and smooth and you can put a new nail back in there and it looks just as as it did when you first put it together but now the only thing is when you're using pliers to try to get the nail out of the wood chances are you're gonna put indents into your frame on the inside right so if I were to pry on this nail now see how the pliers go against the wood so they are gonna mark the wood okay my little trick see already I put a little tiny mark in there I can sand that it with the palm sander but it's something you want to avoid so what I do just take a scrap piece of wood it doesn't matter what thickness it is or what size it is just take a scrap piece of wood I'll place it by the nail like this when I use my pliers clamp the pliers onto the strip and pry on the scrap piece of wood right so now when you pry the nail all the way out see how the nail comes out no dent no mark watch I'll just show you um, just one second I'll get another piece <clears throat> Another tip for you guys if you have to take a frame apart I use a, a mullet instead of a hammer the mullet doesn't dent the wood like a hammer would so it doesn't matter you can hit it right it ain't gonna hurt it because it's a rubber mullet all right so here's the piece I have again now side piece anyways you can see the nail there's no dents no dents see how it's nice and flush on the back from just a single nail hole all right Take my scrap piece, put it under the nail. It works a lot better when you actually got it laid down on um, on the bench. Anyways, put the pliers on the nail, pry on the nail, right? Pry on the nail again. Out the nail comes. See? Well, you're gonna have maybe a little tiny spot there, but at least you're not prying against the wood putting dents that are going to be visible once you put it onto your plaque or whatever and you only have the single nail uh, indent on the back from where the nail went in instead of uh, hammering the nail back like I said and causing the nails to uh, chip away or gouge away or splinter off the wood on the back or whatever then you can just go ahead and re-nail it back onto the frame again all right quick tip hopefully it helps somebody out there somewhere anyways all right have a good day guys